Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another videos on Svelte.js. In last couple of videos we talked about uh, handling the forms in Svelte.js. Now we are talking about stores. Stores are like a very popular word in the, the front end framework. Uh, store means some kind of a state management solutions. In React we talked about Redux, Sandbox, Recoil.js or XState or a lot of different state management solutions, right? But when I looked at the documentation for Svelte, Svelte provides some minimal store implementation. It's very lightweight and you have to write only a couple of lines of code. So it's really nice and clean and it is reactive in nature. That means your store is reactive and you have to subscribe to the store whenever you wanted to capture the value which is being emitted from the store. So Svelte supports something called, called store. Store are just a plain JavaScript object that adhere simple interface. We can also implement a same kind of a Svelte store by our own definition. Swell doesn't care. Svelte has some built-in store methods. Uh, I mean, just uh, it contains some JavaScript plain vanilla objects and you do subscribe methods that returns the functionality and you can just unsubscribe if you do not want to listen to the changes happening inside a store. So what it is doing, store allows you to access the data or the functionality of multiple components. Why we need a store, first of all, the, the old school question, we wanted to externalize the data so that any components can directly go and talk to the store and fetch the data. We don't need to depend on the parent component, we don't need to emit the component event to the parent component and then that component give you the data, no. I can I know the store I can directly go and I can subscribe to the the store and I will start receiving the the values from the store okay so I mean store state management it's like a common term why you need a state management for your front-end application obviously to externalize the state to decouple the components in the front-end framework and when your application grows where you have hundreds of the components it's better that you manage the store outside so that any components without depending on uh, without creating this kind of a component tree you can directly go and talk to the store and get the data you need okay when i when i looked into the implementation how we are doing the how we are creating the store so i will do it let me create a simple file so i will do create store dot uh, svelte okay and let's see i have a script tag i'm creating a kind of component i'm just writing a simple code here i'm creating a simple counter and how we can create it we can just uh, import so there are different kind of store you can create writable readable and derived I'm just I'm not going into the definition for now we are creating a writable store because this writable store allows us or exposes two different methods one is I think set and update that using that you can actually update the values update the the JavaScript object inside a store and whoever is subscribing to that store uh, will be able to get the updated value so it's like you initialize the state okay and what we can do is uh, we just need to subscribe the value so here is a let value and then what you will do you subscribe const uh, because we also need to unsubscribe it so what i'm doing is i created a counter i will do subscribe on top of that and whatever the value it has we are going to assign it to this value variable so what we are doing here is from the the value which is coming from the store it can be in different file we are assigning we are updating the local value which we have with the value coming from the store by doing a subscribe and we already know there are three life, life cycle methods update on mount and on destroy once you are done you can destroy the subscription a plain and simple we create a writable store 
we subscribe the writable store to get the data and then we finally unsubscribe this okay since so this is uh, plain and simple this works but uh, it's like tedious right what you need to do is you need to subscribe the values uh, and then you need to get the data something like this okay but what you can do is you can prefix dollar and Svelte will handle all the subscription and unsubscription okay you can relate this to the sync pipe okay uh, if you remember a sync pipe in angular what it used to do is if you are subscribing the observable how to there is an observable rx uh, js object and uh, let's say this is const or bj this is observable if you wanted to get the data from this you need to do subscribe okay subscribe and get the data and then you need to take care of okay unsubscribing this which we are doing here instead of this so this is how we do it we create we get the observable object we do the subscribe and we can also use rx operators to change the stream because this is nothing but a stream observable is a stream of data and we always need to take care of unsubscribe okay i wanted to get rid of that so there is a solution which Feld also provides okay what you can do is in your html you don't need to worry about okay i need to subscribe and subscribe i can use simply dollar and the counter so it will take care of subscribing and subscribing and it will give you the direct the value whatever is inside this so swell compiler looks for the dollar and always say okay this must be a store let me subscribe to it and i will unsubscribe from it so when the component is removed so this the whole thing is done internally we don't need to subscribe and unsubscribe coming to the store when you look into the documentation you will see three there are three different kind of stores are available readable second is uh, writable which are kind of simple i think and derived store okay from the name it's clear uh, writable store is something which we have created it exposes the set and i think update method like this currently i'm subscribing to it but maybe in some other component where I'm going to decrease or increase or decrease the counter value, there I will be calling dot update method to update the value. Okay, let's say this is the route writable zero, right? What I and I'm subscribing to this, and then in some other components, what I will do is I can just do all these things store dot set to whenever you are changing the the value right so here we have a counter counter dot set to it will trigger the subscription and whoever is subscribing they will receive the updated value this is the one way or you can do another thing is dot update and whatever the current value inside this store and i'm just going to do n plus one i'm just increasing the count this is also these are the two different ways which will trigger the subscription cycle and whoever is subscribing they will receive the updated value okay so this is the writable so swell provide these three kind of uh, store from the library writable readable and derived technically technically these are just uh, just all same with a little variations writable exposes these two methods set and update readable doesn't expose these methods but internally it uses these to update the value and derived is something okay i'm going to watch i'm going to look into the other store and when there is a change i will update my value let's say you are uh, using shopping cart application and there is a total variable which you are calculating every time whenever there is a uh, items are increasing and decreasing so what you are looking at you are looking at the item store if the item store value is increased you always wanted to calculate the total price right so in that case you can use a derived store in the derived store it will look for the values and it will create a updated it will update the value okay so this is just a simple introduction like what all these are we are going to talk in d in depth like 
how we are creating a these different store readable writable and derived store and what is the i mean how we do it we create a writable store we subscribe it we update the values and we unsubscribe it or if you don't want it to unsubscribe we can just use a dollar variable this is a basic introduction let's take a look more and more examples on this